T.I. is in the building. What's Good to see on? you. What's going on, Big Time? How y'all doing, It's man? been a while, bro. Yeah, I know, right? I, I, I just want to say. Here it goes. Uh, I'm very, goes. very proud. I'm very proud to see you here. <laughs> it's good to see my brother. I'm very proud. I, you know, I used to be able to find you with such ease. What's going and then on, the, And then the Falcons lost that Super Bowl after giving up that 25-point lead. And, you know, the only time I could catch you is on TV, bro. Hey, man, no, you cover so many other sports teams. <laughs> you know, there's so much more to discuss in sports. Right. Let's talk about the Braves. <laughs> How about Calvin Ridley? Really? Calvin Ridley. Really? Good. Is that where you're going? They relevant again for Let's the first time the in a while. Or for the first, no, we're going to talk about these Falcons. We're going to talk about these Falcons. <laughs> we get to the Braves, but we're going to talk about these Falcons now. We ain't okay. going to let go of that. Okay. Well, I haven't even been following football. Really? I, I find that very difficult to believe. <laughs> I find that very difficult to believe. High-powered offense, injuries on the defensive side of the ball, but overall... Your Falcons look like they could do some things yeah. eventually, but that is not the case now. Yeah, Anyways. I mean. Mm. Go ahead. Take your time. I mean, Take I time. think that, uh, just to be honest with you, man, just from my from my seat, it seems that it seems that Matt Ryan has some, some, some leadership struggles. You know what I'm saying? I think he needs to kind of take, take the role of responsibility of calling certain plays once they get, especially in the red zone area. This is a very proud moment. Y'all ain't even going to come in. This is a very, very proud moment. A couple of years ago, this brother was talking about Matt Ryan. I mean, he couldn't get enough of Matt Ryan, okay? And, and this is what it's – because it, what it sounds to me like yeah. – you know what this sounds to me like? It sounds to me like a Super Bowl hangover. I'm going to tell you. They had a 25-point lead. They gave it up. And you remember, they all they had to do was run the football to win the damn game. That's true. But he elected to listen to the coach and the offensive coordinator That's and true. not audible, all right? You held him responsible. You yeah. still hold that against him, don't you? I mean, I think everyone does. I mean, but when you say hold it, I mean, we, but we have to learn from history in order to affect the future. But that's Forget one thing him, in the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. In the Super Bowl, <laughs> you're saying at times you can audible out of play, whatever, do what you have to do. But in a red zone offense mm -hmm. where Sark keeps sending out these packages, mm -hmm. what's he supposed to do? If you, By the way, they've been a little bit better recently. But to start the season, they kept making it so obvious they were going to run the ball or try. I mean, What's he supposed to do? I mean, a superstar, I think a superstar quarterback reserves the right to, to take what he sees on the field and call the, play, they call the plays they, that he feels are most appropriate. I think that most superstar quarterbacks have an ability to do that. Is he a superstar? Matt Ryan a superstar? I think that's what we're discussing right now. Yeah. You know who I think is going to be a superstar? What's Your that? rookie wide receiver, Calvin Ridley. He's Potentially dope. offensive rookie of the year. He's dope. Yeah, he's yeah. the real deal. Yeah, he is. That's a bright I mean, I think he's talented. Time. I think he said we have a lot of talent. We have a lot of weapons. We just have to properly apply them. And, you know, the proper application of skill is what, what's going to separate us from. Well, first of all, let's not act like we're stepping out on a whim here. I mean, the brother came from Alabama. That's number one, okay? <laughs> he was born for Alabama. Number two, last time I checked, Muhammad Sanu's still there. Yeah. Julio Jones is on the field with Absolutely. him. Like, both of them had over 100 yards receiving on Sunday. He did it, but he had the two touchdowns. Yeah. Why? Because you had to preoccupy yourself with those brothers. And you got so, Freeman and Coleman. And yeah. you got Freeman and Coleman. I mean, if you have, you know, any of our players uh, uh, on your fantasy team, Team, you're very happy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They have phenomenal games yep. in the losing effort. Yeah, but, but <laughs> one of the two of the guys you don't have are, are Neil and Deion Jones. And Neil, right. you're not Ronald getting Allen too. Yeah. And, and Neil, you're not getting back. And Deion Jones, you're supposed to get back. But that, that defense is supposed to be pretty good. I thought the Falcons were real because of the defense, and now ah. the defense isn't there. Tell the truth. You, you really, that. really worried about the rest of the NFC South, ain't you? Too soon. Drew Brees, too Cam soon. Newton. Nah, not at all. You ain't worried about them at all. Too soon. Been back to chef. Yeah. Ain't worried about them at all. Not at all. Not at all. I think that any given Sunday, man, as soon as maybe these first few games is what you know what the what the organization need to snap out of it. Mm. You know. One of the things I used to focus on, I give you a lot of credit because you told you tipped me off to this. I used to. See, Max, Molly, when we're covering the NBA in particular, you got fans that, you know, I mean, you got people that migrate from all over the country, and they come to Atlanta, but they used to go to the games That's to right. watch their team who was visiting. That's Nobody right. gave a damn about the local teams. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, T.I. was like, yo, man, it's a different ball game now. Life has changed at ATL. That's right. They're going to come out there and support the Falcons. Is that what you're seeing now? Are you satisfied Absolutely. that new stadium is off the chain? Yeah. Are you satisfied with the fan base in Atlanta? They support your team well enough? I think so, man. But I do. I, I am concerned with you know how many losing it, how many losing efforts we begin the season with, mm -hmm. because you know there's so much stuff to do in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? The mm -hmm. fans can be fickle. 
Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Distracted. You know what I'm saying? There's so much, other, there's so much other stuff to do. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah, how no, about no, the Super Bowl is going to be in Atlanta? Super You've got to be hyped about that. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's exciting. Uh, we would we would definitely love to host. I'd love for, for, you for are. the Falcons to oh, host. Oh, you mean the Falcons, yeah. yeah. I'd love for the <laughs> Falcons to host the Super Bowl. I think the problem with Atlanta sports is actually the Hawks. And it's not that they haven't ever mm. had any good teams, but since Dominique, Nick, really, Tell me the signature exciting star to play for the Hawks. Matumbo. That's come on. Matumbo is a shot blocker who's not going to score you a whole bunch of points. I'm saying signature wait. exciting star. I the mean, finger wagging going to do. You need I'm, I'm the top ten I mean, player who's going to fill it up. Uh, right. That's the problem in Atlanta three, right now. It's nondescript three NBA three team. Three well, you, had Joe, you had Joe. You had Joe Johnson. No, no, but what four actually? Joe Johnson. Yeah. This is a nice Steve play. Smith before him. Yep, right, right, right. My brother right. works on NBA TV. Then you got the Kemba Matumbo, Mookie Blaylock. But these Mookie were Blaylock. solid. Stacey yeah, Good shooter. Yeah, they they were solid. Yeah. They were solid teams, yeah. but they weren't. There. They were never a title contender. Josh you're, Smith. You're not paying your money. So no one's like. Listen, and I like a lot of the guys you just mentioned, but it's not like, I'm, you know what I can't wait to do? Guys, Go down and see. We gotta take a break. Mookie Blaylock. Well, you know, you, they, 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 they come in behind good Dominique. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, Even you if know, it's like a Blake Griffin How long type did it take after make... Jordan for someone to come into Chicago oh, and actually Stop get that. Some, Dominique, just, I love Dominique, hey, Hall listen, of Famer, but he was never a, cha- he was never a he, title contender. He, well, he, he because of Jordan. No, I'm saying, but what I'm saying to you is Atlanta was never a title contender. Because of Chicago. Well, at least you could get we to got the conference. Put out, we got put out on the first round. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs>